Yo, what is going on people? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to generate a nav mesh for your actual DayZ map. Now, this can be used for any other DayZ map, so it could be for Chinaris. Chinaris obviously already has its own one, so you don't need to do that. But what a nav mesh is, is basically it allows the AI to know where all your buildings are, all that good stuff. So you don't get buggy zombies and all that lot. I'm sure one of you guys can improve on my little statement there. I don't know a lot about nav meshes myself, but I just know that they're really handy to have for a map. So I thought I might as well teach you how to do this as I worked this out the other day on my stream. Remember to say subscribe if you do want to check out my Bango streams. Also, if this video did help you, please leave a subscription and leave a like. If you do need any help, you can leave a comment or you can join the Discord. And on the Discord, other people will help you as well. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your Steam, open up Daisy Tools. Now once this is opened, you'll get a screen like this. You need to go to Tools and Mount P Drive. If you haven't already, you need to make sure you already have extracted your game data. Obviously, if you're at this stage, you have done because you're making a map. So what you want to do is you want to go and find your folder to your source. So we've got P. I'm going to be editing Lakeside and most of you guys do have my Lakeside config. So we're going to go into the config CPP. I'm going to drag it over here. And as you can see here, NavMesh is already here. Now what you want to do is I'll give you um, a pastebin file in the description with a config where I want you to copy it. So what you simply do is you highlight this, repaste it in and scroll up to the top. Everything should be sorted, make this look neat, put it here. There we go, sorted. As you can see here, this is going to be your path to your map. So what you need to do, save that and then close this down. Now you want to go to your DayZ folder MP missions and as you can see in here I've got empty.belly and this is an init C file in here as you can see here. Now what you want to do is you're going to download the init C also will be in the description. You want to make a folder called empty dot whatever your map is. So this is going to be lakeside empty dot lakeside. That's as simple as that is. Now that is set up. Basically what we're doing now is we're actually making um, a server um, for it to be generated. Now also what you do want is you want a config for your server which I'll also be linking in the description for you to download. Now as you can see I've already got it downloaded here so I'm going to double click this I'm going to get it open. You can make it whatever name you want it doesn't really matter you're not actually going to be joining the server all that you need to do is go down to the bottom here and make this empty.lakeside so it's obviously going to that new folder that you have created. Now what you want to do is you want to right click and make a text folder. Okay. Now you want to click F2, Control A and I'm going to call this navbat.bat. Yes, you want to change that, right click it, edit with notepad. Now I'm going to have a paste bin also, as I've told you before, and I'm going to have this code in. Now I'm going to paste the code here, and as you can see, this is what we've got. Now at the start of this, what I want you to do is I want you to type start, space, and then save this. This is basically saying to your bat to make it start. Now, what you want to do here is I've already done it before, so you want to create a folder or wherever your map is. Mine's at nav, so I'm going to control C that. It must have an add ons folder, and then inside it must have your map PBO. So we're going to put nav here, save that, and now what we're going to do is we're going to run the bat. As you can see now, it's actually loaded up a server of some kind, so you just want to minimize that. Do not close it, whatever you do. Now, you want to go back to your DayZ tools. You want to find Nav Mesh Generator. Now, it's not going to open anything. It's going to open a folder, and you want to right-click this and run it as administrator. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to Generator, Connect Data to Server, OK. And obviously, that is your IMP address locally. So this might take some time, depends on 
all different kinds of sort of things. And after a successful connection, we'll be able to start the generation. Now, once it's loaded up, what you can do is after that, it'll come up, start generating. So you click start generating. I'm not going to do it because I don't care for lakes and I don't care to generate it. It can take a while. On my PC, it took around 45 minutes to generate it, the full nav mesh. So depending on how big your map is, all that kind of stuff, it depends on actually how long it'll take. Every time you do re-update your map, so if you play some new objects and then you publish it, you must update your nav mesh. It doesn't work again. Once you've done this, what you want to do is you want to go file save nav mesh. Now, it will save something. So, for example, we're going to go in ballet. We're going to see, as you can see, we've got nav mesh there. But what you need to do at the end is you need to put dot n m at the end of that so let's say for example this we're going to copy this and we're going to put it in lakeside so we're going to take it to my lakeside folder which is here we're going to paste this in here we're going to wait till it loads up we're going to go to config and here we go we're going to find the path so my path is lakeside and then the file name which is nav mesh nav mesh we're going to save it now that's all that you guys have got to do all that you've got to do left now is to read pbo it obviously with the nav mesh inside run it in game test it and you should all be good thanks for watching this please do leave a like and a subscription if you haven't already join my discord a lot of people will help you in there including me maybe if you've got stuck with this and you need some help go over there or you can also leave a comment on the video that does help too please do follow me on twitter try and get me some more twitter followers let's get 50 let's also get 20 likes on this tutorial and leave a comment if you want any more other tutorials and i'll see you guys next time adios amigos